So today, Activision has decided to reveal Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer reveal. And after sitting down watching about an hour of the reveal, I've come to the ultimate conclusion that this game is a repackaged product at the core wise. The gameplay will feel exactly at home if you played any Call of Duty previous, you know, with the skin dressed up, as I guess I, as I call the outer layer. Now they, they're going to focus on highly customizing your so soldier, which gives you more of a unique personalization to your soldier, which is kind of cool, but it's nothing major. They they are um, trying to crack down on camping with destructible environments, which is something that Battlefield has been doing for years now. And it's finally added to Call of, uh, Call of Duty. And with the destructible environments, it's going to change little, little areas, I guess, little aim down sights about the map, which is fine and dandy. They also tried to focus a lot on the clan features and stuff like that, where you can uh, have a clan and your clan can take over a certain territory. And if you play with your clan and go against another clan, you get clan XP, which is, I guess, it would be kind of cool if you get like bonus XP specifically for you and your players. And they tried to add a bunch of new game modes, which, quite frankly, I don't know if they will succeed. I don't know if they will fail. One game mode, though, has caught my attention is Cranked, which they highlighted in the reveal, stating that this is specifically made to crack down on camping even more. It's pretty much team deathmatch. Where when you get a kill, you have 30 seconds to uh, get another kill or else your character will explode like you have C4 strapped to your body. So, you know, I'm going to call that Kill Confirmed 2.0. Now, once I get this game, that's probably going to be one of the first modes I try out. Seems very interesting. The score streaks, as you can see, this Dragon Fire 2.0. You know, the Halo Pilot, you know, it's pretty much a Dragon Fire with, a, I guess, a grenade launcher instead of a light machine gun. And... Like I said, mostly the destructible environments what this game is focused upon. I mean, as far as weapons is concerned, once you figure out what's, what works best, you're going to pretty much roll with your, 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 your unique set of guns. I hope it is not as bad as Modded Warfare 3, where about a good five to six, seven guns were the most dominant, while the other guns were just complete and total trash. You can see here the Juggernaut has brought back. Maybe he won't be as garbage as he was in Modded Warfare 3, but ultimately speaking, I'm going to buy this game, sadly enough, because I'm a YouTuber, not because I really want to. You get what I mean? What do you guys think about Call of Duty Ghosts? Do you think this is a true, a truly unique game that Activision is bringing to us? Or do you think what I think? It's a repackaged product with new maps and a new skin dressed on top of it. Jay Silver from SNN Tech, and I'm out, y'all. Later.